progress kind of moves in our society iteratively and very rarely yeah. does it pull back and go, is this really the best way to do this? And, you yeah. know, additive, right? So like, oh, well, this will go more. So let's make the motor bigger. Let's make it faster. And as opposed to pulling back and thinking, is this really the best way to do it? Do we need to have cars that are this wide? Do they need to be this heavy? Do we, you know, do you really transport more than two people at a time? we have like you guys there's like weird i don't know like internet construction or something going on outside people are messing with the cable so we had to like hot spot this in at the last minute so i'm really glad that um this is all working fabulously so yay so how are you i miss you dearly i love you i'm so happy that you're on here i don't know if you heard me yabbering away about you for five minutes <laughs> I, I did that and uh i appreciate it and i was i was actually there for uh all of that stuff when it went down and it still makes me slightly uncomfortable to uh to hear it on my bio which kind of cracks me up so yeah thank you for that i appreciate well, it well your bio is epic and it's all i had to do is just sort of like read it off and i still mess up on half the words and and the things that you do and the companies but thank goodness it's in print so yeah. everyone on here can go to your bio they can go to the post about you. Um, if you guys aren't already on my email list, you should be because we had blasted about I am like earlier this week. And when the replay is ready, you'll get first notification for that. But you should also be subscribed to our YouTube channel because that's where all the replays go up first. Um, <laughs> I love how everyone's like, I don't really know what nanoparticles are. And I don't really understand most of his bio. But that's okay, you guys, because he's here with us. And he will be able to break everything down in a way that we can all understand because that's another part of his magic. Yeah. Okay. I, so I, I'm gonna stop yeah, we'll talking. No, thank you. This is actually this is the first time I've done an Instagram live. So this is this is very cool. Um, oh good. Well you're doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. Uh yeah, hopefully this flows well. So in terms of kind of the breakdown, because I know all those terms, it cracks me up when I when I hear all that stuff because it is it's it's all kind of scientific gobbledygook. But yeah. it, uh, the most uh, you know for it, when you're in the circles, kind of that's the easiest way to communicate everything. But the the stuff that you were talking about, the nanoparticle stuff, nano just is a size, right? So nano just means a billion. So it's a billionth of a meter. So I play with nanoscopic soccer balls mostly. So, and, and truly they're truncated icosahedrons, which is literally the shape of a soccer ball. So it's, it's a soccer ball that's comprised completely of carbon atoms. So it's 60 little carbon atoms all tucked together to make a soccer ball. And it has kind of an odd effect. For a long time, people didn't really think it was going to be something that was suitable for biological interaction because it's little bitty spheres it's the perfect thing for lubrication, right? It's it's about quite literally like the most lubriscous, which is the term, um, substance you can get. Everything just slips on it because it is a little nano bearing. So mm -hmm. it's a billion little nanoscopic marbles. Um, but what was found was it's actually amazing if you take it internally. You have to set it up the right way. So the, the way you actually make it available for the body to use is you have to bind it fat right or a lipid and so that's why the term lipofullerene comes around is because it's a fullerene mm -hmm. that particular carbon configuration bound to a fat and what that does is it kind of gives it the all-access pass so normally they're hydrophobic which just means they bounce off of water so you you can't get them to interact but they're lipophilic which means they suck to and bind with fats and the beauty is with with our bodies the cells can actually take the fat and it acts as kind of an all-access pass, and it allows that to move through the cell membrane and translocate past the cell membrane and get inside the cell. You wouldn't really think it does much, but the kind of one of the procedures that everybody does when they start playing with a new substance is you do a thing called an LD50, which is not terribly nice, but it's a, it's a lethal dosing study. And you try and figure out what is going to kill 50% of the population of your cohort of lab rats. 
And when they when they did the LD50 with C60, uh, what they found was the control group died entirely. Then the olive oil group, because they used olive oil, died. And then the group that had the C60 bound to the lipid lived 90% longer. And that was published. It was a fellow named Fatih Musa who published that in 2012. And I remember I read that study when it came out and thought, surely that's BS. That can't possibly be right. Like a 90% lifespan, that makes no sense. So then I, I read through the whole paper and looked at all the, the details in it. And, and there were some things that were really strange. They, they just didn't make sense for you know the way I had learned things. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to just buy everything. So I bought all the stuff and I started playing with it. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to actually do that experiment. But I didn't, it took them five years to do that experiment because, and in fact, they actually killed the last rat in the study uh, because it just didn't die, which personally, I think it's a little bit of a mistake. They actually sacrificed it. So mm. because they decided that they had almost doubled the lifespan of things that they wanted to publish. Mm. So I think called 53 knockout mouse, which the P53 is, it's just, it's a representation in your genetic code. The P53 gene is your tumor suppressor gene. So when you take out the P53 gene, then um, the, the the mice spontaneously. And so it's the, the technical pathic presentation. So they just spontaneously develop these tumors. And if you've ever seen pictures of the mice that we use when we're doing oncology and, and we're researching things, they, they have all these little bulbous tumors that pop over their bodies. But mm -hmm. there have been hundreds of thousands of them used. So they have insanely well-defined mortality curves. Like, you know, pretty much when these guys are going to die. Right. So I got a cohort of those guys and I started playing with it. And what happened was, one, they didn't get cancer, which was bizarre. And two, they lived 93% longer than they were supposed to live. And I thought... Oh what the hell yeah <laughs> it was it was such wow. it was such a strange result that i just thought oh uh, well, that that warrants further study because obviously if if Fathi Musa's group got 90 percent and my group got 93 percent that's that's not a statistical aberration i mean there's there's something going on there so i thought okay i need to run this down so i started playing with it more and more and was dumbfounded by the stuff that happens like you were talking about brain fog and that was you know in part me kind of scratching my own itch because i'm i'm always trying to i mean you know this we're friends so i'm always trying to learn something new do something push the bound um with ridiculous things like juggling rapping a new instrument like whatever that i haven't done before you guys he can rap he can tap dance i mean there's like <laughs> nothing i can't do seriously it's that would be episode two <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The musical episode right yeah it's it's interesting because you just you're trying to push your brain so with the the neural serum i made it for people with really advanced cognitive decline and all um and the, the reason for that is alzheimer's to my estimation and this is just my own personal theory isn't actually a disease in the classical sense of disease uh it's more of a protective mechanism for the body and so that has all of these different components configured in such a way that they break down tau proteins and amyloid plaquing in the brain and stimulate the lymphatic system, which is this kind of small system in your brain that activates in the middle of the night. So you can wash your brain with cerebrospinal fluid and interstitial fluid and then purge it out in your lymph. So basically that whole thing is designed to amp up mental performance for people who are experiencing cognitive decline from a whole host of things. But for me, since I didn't have effective cognitive decline, I started hammering this stuff back and was just kind of dumbfounded by the clarity that it afforded. I thought, oh my God, this is like the best nootropic I've ever used. Yeah. Because so, I really have. I mean, I've tried, if there's a nootropic on the market, I've tried it. I've tried, you know, the injectables, the consumables, you name it, I've tried yeah. it. I burned um, so, my head. So I better, we'll have to, I'll have to um, just pause you for just interrupt yeah. just, just a second. So first I just want to, Oh, it's one, 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 you guys, magic, um, or at least for PST it is, for Sipping Center Town. But I just want to acknowledge everyone for being on here. We've already had some really beautiful comments, um, just people really looking forward to this conversation. Um, there are people that just, they don't know what C60 is, you know, like, what is that exactly? You know, how is this protecting the brain? Um, if someone is having some gut issues, you know, some leaky gut issues, for example, like, can they still absorb this? 
this serum. Um, and so there's just been there's just been a lot of questions that I just want to make sure um, I we I address before we get too far along. So I know there's probably like a million more as soon as you start. Yeah. Going. Well, actually, so jumping in like leaky gut or something like that can yeah. test it. Sure, you can. Um, and it actually because it it has a really heavy anti-inflammatory component. Like mm-hmm. when you take this stuff, your cytokine levels drop really precipitously. Now, yeah. if some- yeah, if somebody has leaky gut, I wouldn't actually tell them to do uh, the neural serum. I'd tell them to take the serum, which is named because I made it for a, a bunch of guys who were, were, were trying out for the Olympics. Um, so that one kind of upregulates a whole host of functions. But for gut health, um, actually, I would recommend using ozonated oils instead of that type of antioxidant. I would actually go with a, a pro-oxidative effect because you end up with problems where you're your zonulin is depressed and your tight junctions in the gut are opening up. And really what you want to do is kind of knock out the inflammatory response and fix that. Mm-hmm. Then you can do this, but I would recommend there's a another company that I, I developed the products for called Biocharged, and that was all ozonated oil products. Mm-hmm. And the the real impetus for that was, you know, it's it's a gut health thing. Like it'll knock out candida mm-hmm. and all three types will Glabrata, Albicans, and Chris. yeah, I need to get some of that. Um, I need to place an order. I definitely have some clients that need some help with that as well. Um, it's yes. Good so, for some of the people that are asking who are saying they want it, can you post that oil? So, you guys go to Ian's um, Instagram account. I think you can do it. You, you can do it now while we're on, or do it after, and then you'll see everything that he's doing. So, you'll and also you can go to Wizard Sciences as well, and all his products are there. So. Everything that I'm holding up, um, the brain, the brain oil right here, like this is on his site, it's on his Instagram, it's on Wizard Sciences um, Instagram handle, and then this one. So it's all on there. So go and take a look and check it out. And don't forget that this, we will have a replay on this. So you'll be able to hear his breakdown of everything again. Um, perfect. So someone just posted the website for Wizard Sciences. It's oh, perfect. cool. Holly Holmes. Awesome, you guys. All right. Oh, good. Oh, wait, we know Holly. You know, I don't know Holly. I just know Holly for stories. But hi. Um. Okay. Amazing. So I'm sorry to interrupt. Like we can just pick back up where you're. You're just chatting. Yeah. So, um, for gut health, that's one of the things that I think are, um, kind of a, a really important, or one of the things I think is is a really important component to kind of hinge on is, is these things aren't applicable at all points, right? So, right. Kind of, I would. Really yeah, and you, you're kind of trying to figure out how to get the body back online so it does what it does and then enhance it. So, like, the gut, better thing to do is um, to do something that's a pro-oxidant so you can heal your gut. And there's a ton of them. There's a ton of ways to do that. I mean, the, the way I completely – it's our science, and it, it actually kind of redefined a couple of uh, basic tenets in, in quantum physics to do it. Um, <laughs> basically, I, I used a holographic gel. Um, which is kind of a new thing. I took a gel and turned it into a hologram, which is a little yeah. different. Well, so it, that one actually, it's really beneficial because you end up creating stabilized ozonides. And ozonides are just, they're signaling molecules. But it, it's basically you take an oil, you hit it with ozone, and mm-hmm. ozone O3, right? So it's right. Normal, breathe O2. O3 has one extra oxygen atom. Right. So it, very unstable. It, it's about the third most reactive molecular species. So there are a hundred million interactions in a second. So you you take oil and you hit it with ozone and it breaks it down. It does a thing called a reduction oxidation reaction. Huh. And you uh-huh. do it three times and then it stabilizes as these other molecular components, but they all still have this one little weird oxygen kicked off. And then I did that in a gel, but my thought was, and I, and I tried it initially, it wasn't that as just a, an ozonated gel. Uh-huh. So then I went back and I looked at the first guy who did it, uh, which was Nikola Tesla in 1904. And mm-hmm. Tesla, not shockingly, um, that that's a sharp guy. He was like a really sharp <laughs> Yes, pretty smart. <laughs> yeah. I think you're kind of on the same page. Uh, I, I would aspire to be, but I, I looked at what he was doing. And like everybody in the world who does it now, everybody does the same process. They take oil, they ozonate it for about two and a half weeks, and then they just can't encapsulate it and sell it tesla took eight weeks to do it and he had these weird elongated beds with electromagnets underneath them and all this kind of stuff and i thought mm-hmm. okay that dude's super sharp 
not going to triple the time it takes to make something and waste all this electricity. What the hell was he doing? And what I found out was because they have a charge, he was actually making everything in, on a molecular sense line up in a single file row so that it had the highest charge density that it could mm. without bumping into one another and being expended. So it was multiples of the strength of all of the other people's stuff. And I thought, wow, that cat is so smart. So, but, and, and I was like, well, I can duplicate that. So I, I did that. That was pretty easy. But then I thought, you know, he was a brilliant guy, but I've got a hundred years of new, really cool tech. Some of like, mm-hmm. like he actually envisioned, but literally it must've been frustrating to be that guy because like he could think so far into the yeah, future, but the rest of the world wasn't there. So he didn't have the toys, but right. we had the toys. Um, mm-hmm. So took what he did. And then I, I took that gel, I made the enhanced gel. And then from the gel, I oscillated it with plasma drivers and then with sonic drivers, mm-hmm. basically harmonized, right? So that you get the spin on everything moving coherently. Then mm-hmm. If the process to make a hologram, everybody's seen a little holographic glass plate, right? Mm-hmm. And it's got the image trapped inside it. What people don't realize is that if you shatter that plate, every single piece down to one molecule in size contains all of the information to recreate the entire hologram. So it's because two coherent waves interact and it creates a special pattern and every mm-hmm. single molecule maintains that pattern. So mm-hmm. it's magical thing that happens. Yeah. So I looked at that and I thought, okay, I'm getting this stuff to oscillate in a way that should be super beneficial for your body, but it's just going to fade out. How do I lock it? Well, right. glass is not actually a, a solid in the traditional sense. It's really more like a soap bubble. It's actually in a different temporal scale. So it's slowly moving down mm-hmm. and acts on it over time. So it's really like a, a soap bubble or a sheet of water, just kind mm-hmm. of so if you look at a piece of glass over 10,000 years, mm-hmm. it would actually down and form a puddle. Um, but from a mm-hmm. optical scale, it seems solid. So, right. I, well, if I do a really fast, like, femtosecond pulse laser, then gel is more similar to glass than either of those is to the, the frequency of the laser. So, in theory, it should work. And I, and I honestly, I didn't know if it would or not, but it did. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it Turn the gel into basically a holographic interference pattern. So, and you like literally when you take 300 milligrams of a normal ozonated oil, you feel pretty much nothing. If you take milligrams of the stuff that I do that process with, when it hits your stomach, instantly your body thinks there's this huge pro oxidative insult happening. And so it mobilizes, you know, superoxide dismutase, glutathione, and your mitochondria all upregulate. And you feel it instantly as heat. You know, I, I worked a lot with Dave Asprey. And the first time I gave him one of the capsules, that was what he noticed. Is he was like, wow, my body just got hot. And it's yeah. because it's like you take something that's the same molecule, but then you crank the volume up. Mm-hmm. And that's what that was. So for gut health, that's kind of, I think, like the best way to go. There are other things, you know, prebiotic starches, probiotics, yeah. All of that is absolutely as integral as a component. But if you have something acute, you know, that's kind of where my stuff comes in is you deal with the big issue and then you work out stuff that's really Im- impactful in long term, which is what yeah. you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is why our combined, our combined uh, um, efforts and um, just what we're what we love doing our combined superpowers is going to be, and I mean, and I don't, no sneak peeks, but but um, there's going to be some synergies here. And there already is, but there's going to be some superpower combining happening here. And I'm so excited about it. You know, we have so many people on here that have just, I just want to acknowledge you again. I in a minute, there's just been so many comments and um, people that have just said, just shared such kind sentiments about you and what you're doing and your brilliance and just your heart. So I just wanted to say that um, in case you missed it. Oh, Pedro's on here. Oh, that's hey. Pedro. Oh my God, he's another part of our soul family right here. Um, we love you, we miss you, Pedro. Uh, so that's, that's, I mean, I just, I'm just like so happy right now. And I, I know that a lot of this is a, a lot of information to take in. We've seen a lot of comments about that. 
but don't worry you guys we will have the replay it'll all be clean up we'll have closed captions on there so um or whatever what, are, what is it called not closed caption let's see the right subtitles is that what it is um but anyway that'll all be on here so that you guys will be able to play pause all of that and we'll also have show notes so it'll make it a little bit easier to to digest when you watch it one or two or five more times <laughs> um but so okay so so many things that i want to talk about so many things i want to ask you but um, I see that you have a beautiful background. I like that's kind of an epic shelf that you have there. So, so let's talk about that for a second because you do everything with intention, and so I know there's a reason for the design. And then also, you know, where people are going to be able to experience this, not just online, but um, where they may travel to very soon to find you. Oh, so we're uh, we're all the entire lab crew. We're all going to be bopping out to the upgraded conference, uh, Dave Asprey's biohacking conference in Orlando. So we'll all be uh, taking our happy COVID tests and bopping down there and, <laughs> <laughs> and setting up shop um, at the conference so people can come by and see us and ask questions. And it's it's pretty cool. So we'll have uh, I actually have a, a bunch of the companies that I work with are there. You know, obviously. Yeah. I, Dave's company is hosting the thing, and I developed the uh, the new coffee that they'll be debuting there, and uh, which I'm pretty excited about. We actually, in picked- case you didn't know that, you did know it now, but okay, so yeah, it's it's amazing. It's not a secret that he's doing it. I can't okay, say, okay. say what it is because it's it's going to knock some people's socks off. Yeah. So it's it's not your usual run of the mill. It's amazing. So um, th- that's good, and it's tasty too. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's going to be great. And um, then I've got uh, transcriptions with uh, Dr. Ted Achikoso and Scott Schur. Um, there, that's we have a bunch of things. If you've seen anybody running around with the blue tongues, that's uh, the guys from transcriptions. So it's a it's a nootropic, and and actually the project that I've been working on is we developed a, a non addictive opioid. And that mm. was, yeah, that I'm actually really proud of that. That's uh, wow. I wow. that at the guys is uh, they got my name as uh, a friend of mine, Luke Story said, hey, if they were having a hard time cracking this biochem puzzle. And they said, listen, this guy can basically solve puzzles, go go find him. So they talked to me and I said, that's a noble product because I my lab is in just north of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And this area is kind of ravaged by people who are addicted to opioids and methamphetamines, you know, so yeah. I thought that's a pretty noble process. So I said, yeah, I'm happy to help. I don't know if I can help you, but I'll try. And so I developed a new process to make a, a type of non-addictive opioid. So that'll be rolling out very soon. And uh, yeah. Do I have a base with methylene blue? Because people are curious about, you know, well, why it's blue. And um, oh, yeah, someone just also said the same thing. Yeah. Um, the blue, it's from methylene blue. Yeah. Hey, Todd. Woo. Biohacker Todd. Shout out. Hi, Todd. Good to meet you here. Um, yeah, the the methylene blue it won't actually be in the uh, the pain trochee, which is where mm-hmm. the the opioid is going. Um, mm-hmm. So it's a, it's an entirely different color to to be released. Um, but there are, there are multiple trophies. So there's one for anxiety. There's one for pain. Amazing. Yeah, okay. there's one using the methylene blue to stimulate okay. neural. And and that's the thing is like all these guys, you know. Ted Ochikoso, he's a really good friend, and Scott Schur are really good friends. They're, it's a bunch of people who are really science nerds and medical nerds, and we're all getting together because we really love people and we want to help. Yeah. And you know, kind of that's sort of the tribe. I mean, that's why we're friends. Is yes. it's all yes. people who are really smart that are trying to change the world, and that yeah. I think that's kind of the common thread because I mean, you know, you know all the stuff I'm working on. So I've got yeah. all the biological components, and I have. Um, uh, let's see, uh, hair science system, which is just to regenerate hair. And um, and I say just, that actually, that's really important because it's a component that people need, right? You know, there's yeah. that I've worked with where we've regrown their hair. Um, mm-hmm. It's impactful. It has, a, it has a big impact on their confidence and their yes. weight, yeah, their ability to interact in society. Yeah. I think Lex Luthor, I'd probably be a, a little... Uh, <laughs> A little less inclined to be. You would have been nicer if you had more hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then some of the other things that I'm doing that are really kind of fun. Um, I'm 
working on gamma ray shielding, um, which is pretty cool. That's that's actually working with Crystal over at NASA on that. Oh, I'm and, so excited about that one too. Yeah, that one's good but, um, for people who don't know. So when you leave the Earth's magnetosphere and you go travel around the solar system, the, the problem, one of the big problems is uh, gamma radiation hits your body and it has a tendency to break your DNA. And mm -hmm. happens, uh, you end up with all these aberrant genetic strands, which lead to aberrant protein stranding, which leads to cancer. And then mm -hmm. everything falls apart. So if, if we make it to the moon and set up a moon base there, that's well and good and all, but we can't stay there generationally because our, right, right. we'd have a whole host of, you know, the equivalent of like thalidomide babies and that nobody, nobody wants that. So, um, you know, so that's, yeah. So hence gamma ray shielding and then another product internally to do the same sort of thing. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's the kind of stuff. And then ionization propulsion, um, which hopefully I will be working with, uh, with NASA on that as well. I've already developed it now. It's just a matter of, rolling it out and getting it into the oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's happening. That's happening. Yeah, you know, the I'm excited for you. Apple by strapping yourself to a giant explosive bottle rocket is, I mean, I understand that that's what Werner von Braun really set up like a hundred plus years ago and that's great and all, but <laughs> we're smarter. Yeah, <laughs> we're, yeah. We, like, we, we've evolved a little bit since then and learned a couple things. Yeah, but you know, that's the crazy thing is I always joke about um, writing a book called Reinventing the Oval because everybody thinks that they have something that's optimized, but really it's this kind of wonky wackadoo thing where it's right. not well, they haven't optimized it. I mean, right. the example I always talk about is the reason our cars are the width they are is because that was the width of Roman ox carts. I mean, <laughs> right? what? Yeah, that's why we're, we're, we're using the, we're using the same the, we're using the same design based on our the same schematics based on that. Whoa. Yeah, I mean that's the thing is people people do progress kind of moves in our society iteratively and very rarely yeah. just pull back and go, is this really the best way to do this? And you yeah. know, additive, right? So like, oh. Well, this will go more. So let's make the motor bigger. Let's make it faster. And as opposed to pulling back and thinking, is this really the best way to do it? Do we need to have cars that are this wide? Do they need to be this heavy? Do we, you know, do you really transport more than two people at a time? Mm -hmm. Generally, no, you know, but, but that's it. That's kind of the process. When I was a kid, um, my, my dad showed me this series called Connections. It was mm -hmm. by a journalist named James Burke. And it was one of the more formative things that I've, I've watched it so many times since then. I go back pretty frequently and, and watch all of the episodes. Uh, yeah. Because what it does is it takes something from now, some modern technology, and then it retraces it all the way back to its inception and then mm -hmm. five iterative steps. And it's and it's like the telephone game. You know, one person does one thing, then that leads to doing another thing 20 years later. And then they do something. Mm -hmm. And it just keeps cascading over and over and over. And then you end up with, you know, some modern technology. But yeah. when you look at the way that used to happen, there was like this huge gap in time. Now, everything is just super fast, you know? So, right, right. Lightning uh, fast. Yeah, it is. It's kind of like cultural calculus. You know, people used to talk about technology moving exponentially. And I was um, getting ready for a, a thing I was going to do in Portugal, uh, a lecture in Portugal many moons ago. And the the title was cultural calculus because people kind of erroneously ascribe the idea that technology was doubling all the time. Well, yeah, but also it's kind of a function of the contact points based on population, right? And so those things were moving in accord. If it were really moving exponentially, what you'd end up with is what we have now where technology is moving exponentially, but it's mm -hmm moving in accord with the population, there's an entire third axis going on. So you end up right. with that big thing going like this, yeah. you have a conical formation where it's volumetrically moving out. Yeah, yeah. So much more data and so many more points. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of that is when used properly, we can completely change the world overnight. You know, all it really takes is the will to do it. And, and also, you have to get past the power structures of, I mean, you know, the kind of the stuff that I've been working on for cancer and that stuff. Yeah. Honestly, well, I'm happy to give it away because historically kind of the, the mindset has been like, you develop something, you patent it, 
you hope yeah. for a Nobel Prize and you hope for a lot of money. Honestly, I really don't give a damn. I'd rather see people happy. So my take is like you develop the idea, you patent the idea, then you give it away, right? You yeah. open it so yeah. that people can actually use it. You know, I have, I really have no problem with, you know, opulence and all that stuff. As long as you really don't have much of an attachment to it, it's not going to get you. Um, and it's also, it's easier because you can elicit a lot of change. Like if, if I make a phone call to get something done, it's not as impactful as, as if Jeff Bezos makes the same phone call because of the society structure, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, but if I, had, mm -hmm. if I had that, I'd be making those phone calls. Well, and that's why I feel that sharing your work, you know, sharing your work and your light is so important because you're just, you're such an example to so many out there who you know, like, you're just so heart centered. And what you're doing is truly for the con for the collective, you know, and to impact as many people as possible and to help heal and also empower people. And so, and so I just, I, that's just, that's just sort of, that's the core of who you are and what you do and what also why, you know, we're family and soul family, but just another reminder to people on here, you know, like this is, he can create and you guys, I mean, send me hearts or drop hearts if you want to see I am back on here like as much as possible talking about every single thing that he's creating and and how you can support you know how we can support these products that he's creating he's putting out there to the world to the universe to really help as many people as possible so so yeah so send me hearts you got messages messaging follow him um let me know I yes he is so wonderful right honestly and, yeah. Amazing. That's beautiful. Wow. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so, lots of hearts. Lots of hearts. I love it. Um, so, yeah. And, you know, it's interesting because so often we have this sort of like toward the, towards the end, you know, of a chat, we'll have like, oh, I have needed him for a long time. Oh, Robin, that's beautiful. Well, go to, go to Ian's website, you know, go to Go to everything he's doing and deep dive and take a look. Yeah. And I can tell you without any question or hesitation, like I can say every single thing Ryan does is magic and it's healing and it'll help heal you and whoever you are connected to and we'll share that with. So that's um, for that, by the way. And that really is, I mean, that, that is the core of why I do what I do. And mm -hmm. I, it's a gift. I, I feel like it's incumbent upon you when you're gifted with something to try and use it well yes. and very judicious with it. Yeah. And so you guys, there's some people who are asking, hi, Dr. Will my dear friend Will, you know, you guys should connect. Will is also going to be an upgrade. Um, just go to the pinned comment here, you guys, and you can also go to the post on my bridge. Um, just go and you'll see all the tabs for obviously Ian's account and then his, uh, his and wizard sciences, and you'll be able to go there and see everything that he's doing. So we can put down wizard sciences.com. There's so many websites, you know, but if you just go to Ian's, you'll be able to go and see all the things. Oh, um, so, yeah. So there's so many, oh my goodness. We have so, there's so much help that is needed. And you know what, for a lot of you guys, I guarantee you there's already something the Ian's created that's going to help you with one of your problems, like whether or not it's hair restoration. I see the ovarian cancer here. She needs a miracle. We just delivered it to you today. Um, I, if you, if you feel like sharing the news that you shared with me just recently, um, I don't know if that's okay for you to share on here. Obviously you're not going to share the person, um, about, uh, with the photos, uh, with your patient that has, oh. Yeah. Stage four cancer to zero I, detection. But yeah, we've, we've definitively have, have had a few people that have made pretty dramatic recoveries from stage four to stage zero, stage three to stage zero, uh, ginormous reductions in glioblastomas and all sorts of stuff, you know, it really like, like truly things that are impactful and, and changing people's lives and helping. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and you know what, like, I, I was just thinking about this. What's so funny? Are you, are you, are you, how can I see dolphins? Um, 
that actually yeah. was a joke because Todd, biohacker Todd, we literally, he just, I saw it go by. It was funny. We were actually out paddle boarding in the Gulf and. And you, I, and you didn't see dolphins? <laughs> Come on, I, you could have, you could have brought the dolphins. I know you can do that. I mean, you can change your eye color, so. Yeah. We'll do that on a different, on a different interview. Yeah. But you know what I was thinking as we're talking about this and there's so many different products, like we really like, let's get, we should set a bunch of those. Like just at, like, one of every single thing, even if it's not something I would use and shake so that I can have it. And that way I can hold it. I mean, you, you should be holding up all these things too, but you know, we can get all of that on the site and okay. whatever descriptions that you have for each product, we can just put it on the site. We can link it back to yours. You know what I mean? Yeah. So maybe we should, maybe we should do that. And like, that would be good that way. Or, and you know what we could do is, um, we can also, we'll just, we'll have everything in show notes. We'll have everything there. <laughs> Robin, Serena, please make a list. I, <laughs> I will. I will. He is going to send me every single thing he's created. And what I'll do is we'll do a blog post dedicated to it. We'll have a picture of every single item, a product description. We'll have a link to the site where you can get it. Very cool. Yeah. That okay, right. Yeah. That. So we'll do that for sure. Yes, please go through the products of the day. We will absolutely do that. So what we can do is we can just break this up. We'll have like, we'll we'll just do an Ian and Serena series. How's that? That would be and, fantastic. Right? Should yeah. we do that? Okay, so we'll just do like an Ian and Serena series. And, and, and we'll just do like, we'll focus on different topics. You know, we'll focus on like different products. We'll focus on different things. And then, we'll, and then that'll sync up. And then we'll have the blog with the whole list. That'll, that'll link over to the site where you can get everything um, and little descriptions out and we'll do that. It just kind of like came to me. I think that's going to be a really good idea. <laughs> so. Especially we can actually, we can do it on the opposite side of your room, both with our phones and that way we can both. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know. It was so funny, you guys, because I, we were thinking about doing this live like before, but we were, we'd be together. I'm like, well, kind of the whole point is like you're on your account so that we can bring some some visibility and traction to your account. I'm on mine. I guess we could if we're like in different rooms in the same way. So, <laughs> um, but we did this and this, this is just going to be the first of um, many in our really? series that we just created in this moment. We're going to have a special um, I Am Serena series. So I'll have to give it a title. Um, but yeah, so I know there's probably a million more questions, you guys. Um, and let's see. So let me kind of go through. People are pretty happy with that. Perfect. Great idea. Yes, let's do that. Great. Thank you. Okay. Amazing. Um, all right. Awesome. Both share. Okay, great. I just saw, so I just saw the email. So you missed the beginning. No worries, love. We are going to have this cleaned up and have all the audio synced up properly and have captions on it. And so you'll be able to watch that on the YouTube channel. Um, as soon as it's out. So probably in the next, like, Usually it's two or three days. Uh, so yay. Okay. Amazing. Yes. He is a genius and a true saint and he's an angel and he's a unicorn and he's a magician. Like all the things <laughs> and he can tap dance and he can rap. I mean, what can I not do? And I'll be um, stuck in here because my head will be too large to make it through you. It's not even possible. <laughs> all that will happen is that your heart will expand, which just means more healing for the rest of the world. So before we jump off, I'm okay, so let's, let's go through at least some of the websites where people can find things. And I know there's several, so let's just take like five minutes because there's several of them to okay. go through the sites and the accounts. Okay. So I would start, probably the best place to start is wizardsciences.com. And so that's where I, I, I think currently we only have four things on the site. And they're all nanoparticle things. So there's the neural RX for the brain, the Olympic for the body. And then there's the two bases that I use for both of those. One is just caprylic acid with lipofullerene. So brain octane for everybody who's in the space, you know, that does biohacking. Mm -hmm. um, oleic acid, which is an olive oil fraction. Um, mm -hmm. Really good because they... And again, them. this is on there, you guys. I know that I held it up a few times. So you this, you'll find that there. I don't know what that is. And the reason is because your body is brilliant, right? It does different things. And the one in the purple bottle breaks down in your liver, fractionates and moves bodies to your brain. The one in the green bottle actually goes into your small intestine, breaks down and is metabolized everywhere throughout the rest of your body. And it, it upregulates cell function. So it, it 
your ATP output in the mitochondria just goes up mm-hmm. and you need about 30% fewer calories. You feel absolutely juiced and energized all the time. And it, it makes everything function more effectively. There are actually, there are a whole host of diseases that it just knocks out because when your body has enough energy to perform its own functions, it just fixes itself. So you're kind of giving it the tools. Yeah, yeah it's really, you give your body the tools it needs to do its gig. Mm-hmm. It goes out and fixes it. Um, it hair science system is a perfect lead in the, the hair issue. Tons of people always worry about the conversion of dihydrotestosterone, you know, and, and is it, does it effectively block things? Yeah, a little bit, but really that's actually kind of a tertiary function as I found it to be. And so I just kind of went to the root of the issue, no pun intended. And I upregulated all the follicular cell production and like anything else, it has a job. It just wants to show up at work and do its job. So you provide it with the resources it needs and they start pumping out hair. And so that's, I mean, it's, it's very, very easy. You know, you, you provide the tools that your body needs and it mm-hmm. wants trying to do, you know, if people ask sometimes like, Oh, well, if I put that on my face, will I get hair all over my face? No, there is no Wolfman component. You are not, you're not suddenly going to be <laughs> bang at the moon uh, because those cells are predetermined to do a specific set of things too. But if you put it on your scalp, all of those follicular cells light up. And I've seen that a ton of times. So that's really good. Um, also, in terms of moisturizing, it is the most jazzy moisturizer because it has peptides in it. And so the GHKCU peptides, the copper peptides, um, go into your skin. And truly, I, my personal opinion is that there oh, are... Oh, I got it. Why do I have this here? I, I, I need this in my repertoire. Like, I, I, I need to order this it, right now. It's truly jazzy. It's good stuff. Okay. But it's a bioregulating peptide. There, there are a lot of th- thymusin, um, thymolin, uh, pifilon, and I, I use those. I actually inject those, but yeah. those are really good if you get them in the right capacity to be bioavailable. But for your skin and your hair, the best thing to do is just a topical application with a penetrant, which is what I set up. Mm-hmm. And so I just configured a bunch of stuff to get all of those things to drop in and your body starts producing new elastin, collagen, fibronectin, and pumping out hair. So mm-hmm. that's pretty juicy, jazzy. Um, so you guys, you guys just scroll through these websites. Everyone's saying, where can I buy this? Where can I buy this? Wizardsciences.com. Go to Ian's account that's pinned on the bottom, on the bottom here, this pinned comment. Go, go see his website and it'll take you kind of everywhere. So I know a lot of people are like, where can I buy this? Go to the website. <laughs> Go to the website. You'll find all these things. Go to Ian's account and you'll find all his other companies. I know he's rattling off right now, but so you're not panicked about 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 missing it. Just go to his site. Go to his account. So Yeah, yeah and I just saw one. Everything is at Wizard Sciences. No, everything is not. So um, Wizard Sciences has some hair science system dot com has others but are these all linked though i aren't these all linked to your personal account like <laughs> don't you have if they're not if they're not i'll have my team do it when we get off there. like right now team right now make sure that there is a link tree which is a free account and in the link tree there is going to be a link to every single one of these sites because he's gonna like he, there's gonna be a lot of hits <laughs> to this account <laughs> So we want to make sure that the links to all these sites are easily available. We will definitely have, and you know what we can do, um, my team, what we can do is we can also put all of these websites. We'll update the caption right now and we'll just stick it on the, on the caption. Emily, if you're on, let's do that. Let's just go ahead and update the caption or Elena. Um, we'll update the caption so that all these, all these websites are at the bottom of the caption of Ian's post. Uh, while we wait for the link tree to go up. How is that, you guys? So that way you can see and find everything. Thank you. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, working working on that to clone myself. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. actually uh, there are some guys uh, that, are, that are doing a better, better job of that right now. Um, Dean Kamen seems to be doing a hell of a job of coming up yeah. with wow. bodies at this point. Um, let's see. The other one uh, is Biocharged, uh, and that's – I have that because I suck this down every morning. That's this guy right here. Yeah, that's the thing I need to order right now, too. You, you, okay. I, I will send you something. You can try it. It's great stuff. So it just, if, especially if you have any sort of leaky gut issue. Actually, the thing to do if you have any sort of gut issue is 
it's good by itself, but if you really want to kind of tighten all the, the tight junctions down there and get everything to lock up, take mm -hmm. vitamin K2. Take what? Take vitamin, what? vitamin K2. Okay, so Sue's, I think Sue's had sent several, put down several comments about gut issues and leaky gut and all of that. If you're still on here, um, vitamin K2 plus the biocharge that um, I has, and that'll yeah. probably resolve those issues for whether it's for yourself or your or your um, your friend. So yeah, it's really it does a great job for candida and things like that. Um, mm -hmm. Just it, nature's disinfectant, right? That's why ozone, yeah. because no matter how tough something is, if you strip away all of its electrons, it's not going to do so well. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know. So uh let's see and so uh, let's see what other sites um those are those are probably the three biggies there's yeah, we'll, we'll, but pull them all. we'll get them off from you and we'll we'll opt into caption yeah. because then people can go there and then they can also go to your account which that gives you a little like a little a little runway for when for when the link in your bio is updated but we'll at least have them in the caption that's all about you and all about your companies um you know one thing i'd like to say before we wrap up is that I know I very I often talk about the tools and that's why I do this show for you guys and why I bring on these extraordinary people that we're so blessed um, who are who are able to share space with us and to share their wisdom and their knowledge and their magic and you know from time to time I'll say this is what you need in your toolkit you know what a lot of things you need in your toolkit you know this book is a bible that you want to have on your shelf what I can say about Ion's products is like they're not just tools like these are absolutely fundamentals that you want to have in your in your day-to-day -day life like not just for yourself but for your family and your communities share like the products that i makes are not just tools we'll call them tools but there's so much more that they're essentials you know like these things are essentials and if it's not just about you know biohacking or optimizing like yes for sure that but just to like live well you know, to live like with ease and flow um, and to just really feel like you're within your own self, your own body. And and, um, and I think that that's sort of like everyone's everyone's goal. You know, some people want to be super optimized and some people are just want to just like be and be comfortable with themselves. Like whatever it is, that, whatever it is that's your preference, like Ion's products are going to be essential for that. So I just wanted to say that. And I'm so grateful for everything you do and everything. You, I'm just grateful for you. I genuinely appreciate that. And it's mutual. I, you know, it's, I was literally talking to a uh, bedroom today and saying, ah. you know, the reality is like, you can, you can solve all the puzzles and all of the things, but if people don't know that there's a solution out there, then I really haven't done the job because no one is getting the help. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that's, I, I humbly, very much appreciate everything that you're doing and thank you for getting this out there because people need the help and mm -hmm. collectively we can we can solve all this stuff you know we can yes. make we can make a big dent but, yes. but it, unless people know it's actually out there you know there there are some problems that are huge blights on our society right now mm -hmm. that but i know the people that can solve all of those things yeah but yeah know the solutions are there yet so thank you for getting this out there and, and letting people know that they're not alone they can get help and we can help them yes no you're so welcome i feel i just feel really grateful i'm just really blessed that i even have the opportunity the proximity just the the energy and synergy that we have to be able to share that and i'm really excited about the series that we're doing that we just kind yeah. of came up with you know like i think it'll be awesome and super fun and just the more that we can share, the more that we can teach and educate people, um, the better the world will be. So I really encourage all of you guys to just like share this, you know, like when, when this comes out, um, go ahead, share it, follow Ian, follow all his companies, share the knowledge, share the resources with people in your circles, you know, in your communities. And this is how we will together and collectively make a difference and rise. So. That's pretty much all I have to say. So thank you so much. I love you. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you guys for being on here and just being so engaged and a part of this and um, honoring this magical soul that we have here today. So thank you guys so much and stay tuned to YouTube that all the information will come up on there soon. Replays will be up there soon. And then we are updating the caption prime right now. So the resources are on there as well. 
you go to all go to his account make sure that you check check out everything that he's doing all right you guys and we'll talk to you soon happy friday have a beautiful weekend thank you so much bye